Hi friends, it's Amy Tangerine. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here in the studio with something exciting from Altenu. This is the artist squash strolling through New York. It's pretty gorgeous, and though I have worked with gouache before, I don't think I've shared much about them on this channel. Today, I'll be exploring the beautiful colors and creating some collage papers using my latest favorite techniques of mixing various paints and supplies onto a really cool thing called a jelly plate. Now, if you haven't worked with one of these before, the process is pretty addictive. This one is a five by seven that I'm placing on a sheet of regular copy paper. I'll also be using a brayer and this tool that is sort of rubbery. I think it's just called a wedge. I will also be choosing some other products from Altenew to mix in here to create these beautiful, unique, collage papers that I hope you enjoy seeing and I hope it gets you inspired and you feel empowered to try these various techniques where it feels very playful and explorative. This is part of the Artist Squash video hop, so if you're new here, welcome and hope you subscribe to my channel. There's also a giveaway, so be sure to watch the entire video to see how to enter. I've linked all the supplies below, now let's have some fun. I'm squeezing a bit of coral red right onto the jelly plate. It does take a bit of time to warm up, so initially I think the first few prints sometimes don't turn out to be your favorite. This is the primary yellow, and I am going to do one more color here. Let's grab this baby pink. Now, one of the things to keep in mind when you're using a jelly plate is to really focus on enjoying the process. Mm -hmm. Not so much on the results, focus on the joy of the creative process. This here is the watercolor brush marker refill in Cotton Candy. And now I'm taking my brayer and moving all of the paint around. And you can see it is pretty liquidy at first. I may have used a little bit too much of the watercolor brush marker refill and that is okay. I'm spreading it and seeing how the colors react. I have some excess here so I'm going to take this other jelly plate. This is a 9 by 12 I believe and then taking a piece of paper. You can use any paper you have. This is pretty thin paper from the Japanese store and rubbing my hand gently and then peeling it off right away. So here you can see it's created a fun pattern, but I like different types of textures. So I'm not even going to clean off the jelly plate. I'm adding more of the primary yellow, and then I'm going to go ahead and spread it around to create a little bit more of a solid background. When you're experimenting with this, Try using different color combinations and textures because you never know what will be created. This is very much a freeing process and not meant to be perfect. Oops, there's a little bit of residue there, so I'm just taking that off with my finger. If you find yourself getting too caught up in perfectionism, Take a few steps back and focus on the fun of it all. Really drop into the presence of what you're practicing. Crafting can provide a truly therapeutic and beneficial effect on well being. We've all felt it. It can be used as a practice in mindfulness and self care, and it can be used as a creative outlet for self expression. There's no room for perfectionism or any negative self talk here. In fact, this is meant to be fun and freeing, so I invite you to do that. Here is what it looks like on the other jelly plate. A little bit bubbly, but I'm going with it. Now, to be completely transparent, I only recently started exploring and making these prints slash collage papers slash whatever you want them to be. Uh, I have experimented with different types of papers. Oh, but smoothing this out. Oh, wow, look at that. This is what I love right here. This texture that's created, I love that so much. You can also just take the brayer and put it right back onto the plate. 
And though I haven't been doing it for so long, this process, I'm quite obsessed and I really want to share the fun with everyone. I want to encourage you too to not be afraid to make mistakes and don't be too hard on yourself if it doesn't turn out the way you expect it to in your head. Using the gouache and watercolors on the jelly plate is explorative, it's therapeutic, you don't know what's going to happen. And sometimes when you get something that you just love and you (laughs) want to replicate it, uh, sometimes you can't. And that's okay too. I think that there's something very intuitive about this process as well with exploring how many elements you want to put on, how many colors, how much of each element. Now I'm taking this wedge and I'm smoothing it on to the paper and seeing what happens then. And this by far is my favorite print so far. Wow, look at that. Okay, let's, this is a good one. I'm going to keep this one and let's switch gears and change up the colors a little bit. Part of the reason I think this is so fun is that you don't have to clean the jelly plate if you don't want to in between your colors and sessions. Let's go for some blues here and use the primary cyan, then the misty teal, and I'm going to grab a new ultramarine watercolor brush marker refill to top it off. It is also important to understand color theory when mixing colors and choosing them. Knowing which colors will complement each other will help you create beautiful pieces that are pleasing to the eye. Look at what is happening with the paints as I'm moving the brayer around. So there's a few little clumps of gouache that you may be able to see that I'm trying to smooth out a little bit, though I can always add a little bit more watercolor here to add, ooh, look at that. Do you see the bubbles that are forming? That's what I really like. I'm cleaning off the brayer on to a different, the other big jelly plate too, because there is some excess. But as you can see, the bubbles are turning out so nice as it's drying, I guess, on the plate. And taking another piece of the paper, smoothing it out, I'm going to let this one maybe sit a little bit longer while I grab the other jelly plate that I've cleaned off the brayer on. I'm just going to set it on top of the other plate and grab another piece of paper, smooth it on here and pull it back. Wow, that's really fun. There's some really cool sections there. Okay, setting this aside and peeling this one off. Wow, look at the results. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, I love that. Okay, one easy way to make sure that you have colors that will complement each other is to stick with shades of the same colors or colors that are next to each other on the color wheel. What I love about this Lagoon Green that I squeezed on here, so I think I used Misty Teal and Lagoon Green. The Lagoon Green actually looks more teal to me. Teal or turquoise, I would say. And here I'm going to add all of the watercolor brush refill (laughs) packs that I, or droplets, I should say, that we used previously. And let's just see what happens when we add one more. This is Mango Smoothie, which looks a little bit like a burnt yellow or a mustard maybe. Yeah, that's all right. Uh, Anyway, oh, look at the way the blue looks. Wow, that's the ultramarine. So I have a good feeling about this one. And as you play around, I love the way you can see the jelly plate coming through. And I'm going to, once again, go through this process. It's so freeing, and I recommend that you follow your intuition. This is my favorite one, by far. 
And look, it's unique to whoever is doing it. This is the other one. Oh, look, it looks bubbly and fun. But I encourage you to play around and see where it goes. Intuitive painting is a great way to explore the creative process using this method. The idea behind it is to really let go of control and let your intuition guide you. Instead of trying to create a certain design or have it look a certain way, you simply let your colors flow freely across the surface and mix them up accordingly. Even where you drop them is going to create something completely unique to what you previously did. Even if you use the same colors and the same ratio of watercolors to gouache, it'll always turn out different. Mm. You can create so many interesting shapes and oh wow, and textures using this method. See, as you also get warmed up, what I realized is that sometimes the jelly plate reacts to the amount of pressure that you put, but also how long you let it dry, and also the temperature or the weather, which you have no control over, so or not much control over. So I recommend not being so precious with this. Really, it is about letting go of perfectionism, letting it flow. Remember not to focus so much on the results that you desire. Focus on the joy that this creative process brings you. Okay, so I'm not a huge fan of this one, but I think it warmed up the jelly plate for the next one. And that's another thing that I have found with this process is that you never really know what's going to happen when you just clean off the brayer and put another piece of paper down. Let it sit on there for a while. This is why it's a little bit harder to peel. And I'm really liking how light that is. But you can see if you look up close that there is a lot of texture built into this sheet. All right, now just speeding up the process a little bit because you know the drill. This is the ultraviolet and the lavender. And instead of using watercolor, I just dripped some water right onto it, mixing it up and seeing how it spreads onto the plate. I really hope you experiment and explore with this process. And ooh, look at that. Wow, so vibrant and bright. Hope you found this to be a mindful activity that's incredibly therapeutic. It can help you clear your mind, relax, and even provide some clarity. We all have different ideas, interests, and styles that make us unique individuals. Use your supplies to make something that expresses who you are. Perhaps you're drawn to vibrant colors or maybe you prefer more muted tones. Whatever it is that draws you in, use it to create something that reflects your personality and brings joy into your life. Having colorful collage papers ready for future use can help spark creativity, especially when you're stuck in a rut. I really hope you found this to be inspiring. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it, and I invite you to leave any questions or comments below. Subscribe if you haven't already too. And to be part of the giveaway, let me know your favorite color combination at the moment. I personally have trouble choosing, but I'm leaning towards blues these days. Taking the time to create something with your hands can help alleviate stress and anxiety, which are all too common these days. Remember that crafting is a form of self-care that can be done with intentionality and approached with playfulness and joy. I encourage you to explore creating these collage papers using the Alta New Artist Squash. I hope you've enjoyed seeing the colors. This is sort of my version of swatching them. <laughs> I just really don't. Uh, creating for the sake of it can help reduce stress, quiet the mind, and provide an outlet for self-expression. Have fun with it and enjoy the process of getting those creative juices flowing. Thanks so much for watching.